When the horses come to SAFE, one of the most important parts for my training program is to allow them to tell us when they're ready and move forward as patiently and at a pace that is comfortable for them. So on intake, the first thing is they need to be healthy. Hey. Hey, Lisa. Nice to see you nice again. Nice to see you. Welcome. So this is Stevie. He's our newest intake. Uh, we just got him in yesterday morning. I'm just going to approach his shoulder. Sure. Hey, can we give you a scratch just for a second? We'll become friends. It's about 800. Maybe just about 790. And that really just gives us a good place, a starting point, right? Because if we know his body condition, then we can really go from there and, and put a feeding program together so that we know how much weight he needs to gain and mm -hmm. all that great stuff. So next, um, we do body condition scoring. And as you know, we score horses from one to nine. So we're shooting between a five and a six, which is a really good, healthy weight for horses. And it can be a range, which is very similar to humans, right? We have this good, nice, healthy weight range, mm -hmm. right? The easiest place to start um, on any horse is always to just do a physical evaluation first, right? And we say, can I see ribs or can I not see ribs, right? Obviously with him and probably with a lot of horses that we rescue, you can see ribs. Yes. Um, then you got to get your hands on them, right? And so with a horse that you can see ribs, it's, it's going to be a four or below, like one to a four. Okay. If you cannot see ribs at all, then they're going to be a five or above. If I had to push pretty hard or put a lot of pressure on, on his ribs to feel them, then he's going to be a seven, eight, or nine. Okay. Right. And then, you know, we'd move over to the neck. You know, he doesn't have um, much neck fat or muscle at all either. When we kind of look at his, where he is, and hi, buddy, and where he wants to go, he just has a little bit of fat. You know, he's really like a two and a half, three. Okay. So from there, we're going to go, okay, he needs about 45 to 50 pounds, that's per body condition score. Okay. Um, so to go up to a five, that means he needs roughly 90 to 100 pounds, which is great. Probably exactly what he needs, right? Yeah. Um, one of the things to consider too is horses, generally we shoot for about one pound per day okay. gain. And so knowing that he needs to gain like 90 to 100 pounds, it's, it's, it's a long haul, right? It's right. going to be, you know, 90 to 100 days before you get him to a, a five. So, and without knowing a whole lot about his history, we'll just have to start from scratch with this feed program. Okay. I've been with Perina for many years now, and it's just been so important to see the impact that we can make by a good, solid nutrition program. It's kind of why we get up in the morning is because we really, truly are there to help, and we really want to make a difference. With hay, you want to make sure he's getting one to two percent of his body weight in hay. Right. Generally, for a skinny horse, we want to shoot towards two percent. So when we called him about 800 pounds, that would be 16 pounds of hay. Right. Um, though we do like to shoot towards his goal weight. So if we want him to be 900 pounds, that would be 18 pounds of hay. Okay. So that's one thing to look at to make sure we're maximizing our forage part of the diet, right? Alfalfa is actually a really great resource, especially for horses who are rehabbing mm -hmm. and you're trying to put calories on them. It's a lot more calories per pound than your grass hays. So having some alfalfa, either loose hay or alfalfa pellets on hand is actually a great resource. Mm -hmm. um, it not only can help with ulcers, um, help kind of buffer the stomach a little bit. So some of these horses that were highly stressed and you don't know their background can help with that. But then also if you're choosing between hays or hay pellets, um, and the alfalfa is actually higher in calories. So for him, I think that we'd probably recommend a product like Strategy GX, which is really nice because it has a wide variety of how to feed it. It's an all stages of life feed. So what's nice is you can feed it from a foal all the way up to an older horse um, and everything in between. So for a horse like that, you don't know his background, but you can slowly introduce a feed. And you'll find that with the strategy because it does have the amino acids for building muscle. It also has the vitamins, the minerals, and the added fat to mm -hmm. help kind of build that up. But when we add the diet, um, you want to probably take time to eventually get him up to around four or five pounds because we want to feed about 6,000 calories more than what he's already getting. So for a horse to gain about a pound a day, it's going to be 90 to 100 days before we really see him at a good body condition score. So about 6,000 calories per day would be about roughly four pounds of Strategy GX. Um, you could, depending on how he handles as you increase it, I would kind of land anywhere between four and five pounds per day. Okay. Splitting that into as many as many feedings as you can. Okay. So whether that's two feedings or three feedings, um, definitely at least two feedings for him. Sure. And so what I would do is start out with a quarter of a pound and then tomorrow add another quarter of a pound. And then so you're going to take, you know, seven to 10 days before you really get to that point where you're okay. feeding him that much. About four or five pounds. Okay. Mm -hmm.